Hello and greetings everybody, welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. We just finished our very first Let's Play series, Wrath of the Northman. If you haven't seen that, just have a look at the video description. And next up, we're going to try and unite Ireland, become the first king of Ireland and thus reign the Celtic throne. I hope you're going to enjoy this one. See you on the other side. Alright, and here we are. We are now in Ireland. And in that case, we have to unite the island of Ireland. As we can see, Europe is still in chaos. So we have Francia and East Francia. Um, we don't have a Great Britain yet. We have some smaller kingdoms. And here in the middle are we, Thomond. That is our first county, as it is called. And the county is part of a duchy. Now, in this case, we don't own anything of the duchy yet. So our first goal will be, well, on our way to unification of Ireland to get some additional counties, of course. Now, let's have a look at our ruler first. Now, our ruler here is Chieftain Mac Murcat of Thomond. He's 67, so he is pretty old, which is a major problem because he's going to die at some point now. Um, we do, however, have a son. And this is Eogan. Eogan is going to be our sole heir. And he's our focus, really, because once we die, he will be our us, more or less. Right? And the problem is, he's not really strong, right? He's got 17 learning and 8 intrigue. So we are probably going to play a sneaky character with him. But his father, his father is known for his prowess. And, uh, well, not really. Okay. His father is pretty weak there as well. First of all, what we need to do is we need to find us a lifestyle choice. Now, we do have, as we can see, a bonus in the martial skills. The father is not going to live that long anymore. So, you might say it's not important to get him a lifestyle. But it is, because it gives us a nice bonuses. And we don't know how long he's going to live. So, I'm going with the martial skill. In that case, and we're going with the strategy focus. Because my goal right now is to get some... Counties, well, we can still do it, right? Because we have the martial bonus. Um, and as we can see, what I didn't show right now, what we can see is that since he's old, he gets a lot of bonuses right away, right? So he gets all the bonuses that we have here. Two trees are full right away. And he gets the strategist trade because he's that old. Now, we still have to go with the overseer then. But for now, we get lots of bonuses already for our little chieftain here and this gives us a nice bonus this gives us a nice bonus to fighting what i want to do first we are in the early middle ages so prestige is our primary currency right now to get us new units let's get us some new units right we are starting with 270 levies um, our first goal is to take a few counties here before everyone else gets a bit stronger right now so the first goal is to get a few create men at arms and we're going with the light footmen so they give us some bonus they're cheap though that is the most important thing but they have the numbers um light footmen count as these types the heavy infantry and they're very good in the forest and in the jungle and the tiger so forest is the predominant um area that we have in ireland so it's very good to have it here right and it costs me 100 prestige as we can see i'm going to do this with bowmen as well so we're going to get us some bowmen and once again some light footmen right so we got three men at arm regiments now that we can use um we still need to wait however for them to pile up you know so to gather at the moment we only have five of a hundred for each of them so this is something that takes a bit of time but we want to rush this to get up a few soldiers up there to have as you might say a blitzkrieg right so we want to fight them quickly as possible now we have another major problem and that is we don't have a wife nor does our son so in that case let's find us a wife now for the old guy it's not that important anymore what wife we find. Uh, we might get an alliance, but the alliance would break once we die. So it's not really the best thing. Um, we could go with someone that has good skills though. Because with the skills, we could use the wife then as a regent as well. While we are, for example, warmongering. And in that case, um, we do want to have someone that keeps our realm together. And diplomacy is pretty good for that. I would also like to go with a bit of Martian skills, though. As we can see, see, she's French. There is no alliance with her, but she's very good for martial skills. So, in that case, she will accept, and we should, yeah, go with her. So, we got ourselves a wife with some good martial skills. Now, for the son, however, we still do need something, right? The son needs a better spouse, though. And since only prestige at the moment is our currency for soldiers, we should be going with someone that gives us a lot of prestige for our son. Right, so for Eogan, 
he's the guy. He is 27 at the moment, so um, pretty young and ready to make babies, which is important as well. Let's have a look what we got. We got some Welsh woman here. Um, that would give us an alliance with Sarah Ditchen, which is in Great Britain on the, on the Isle. Um, this would give us another hand prestige as well, and she is 25, so it's perfect. She's evil though. She is an evil paragon. Um, I don't know if that is the best trait that we might have. She's callous. She's a bargainer though, and just actually she's pretty good, right? She's good looking too, kind of. She looks like a dude, but still fine. And the major important thing here is she is around our age. She is ready to make babies, and she gives us prestige. Alliance-wise, we do get a smaller alliance. I'm perfectly content with that. And let's go with this proposal here as well. So our son will be having a wife, and we're going to have a wife. Perfect. Before we unpause the game, we still have something else to do, and that is our council. Let's have a look at our council real quick here. Um, we do have quite, quite a good council, actually. We do have a very good bishop. He's got 19 learning, and he endorses us. So the endorsement uh, gives us an additional bonus on levies. So right now, I'm not going with anything else other than religious relations. This gives us a piety bonus. We need the piety to wage war in the early Middle Ages, right? And then we got the Chancellor. He is not that good. He's got diplomacy rating of 9. Um, and we could say foreign affairs for now, so that we keep our enemies a bit at bay. Um, domestic is not that important yet since we don't have vassals. Um, we got the steward. He's at six, uh, six stewardship. He's art guard. He's really bad. Like six in stewardship is just tremendously bad. I don't have anyone else though at this point. He's going to collect us some taxes. Not that much of it, as we can see. We got a very good spy master, and we got a very bad marshal. Also, in this case, I don't have anyone else. I do have the chancellor. He would be a better marshal. And this, nope. It's just bad, right? So those guys are bad, especially our marshal. He is organizing the levies for us, so the better he would be, the better our army is. But let's just be happy with that. Now the spy master is what we want to also, yeah, keep close as well. The spy master is a 12 intrigue, so that's average. It's good for now, um, for starters. And as we can see, we could go with some scheming there and disrupt schemes. I'm going with finding the secrets right now probably of my enemies or what we could also be doing having a look at our enemies since they are quite weak at the moment we might start a murder plot against someone of these that makes them even well weaker in that regard let's have a look at this there is a murder plot here with a 33 percent chance of winning this and against the Dunkert, as is the other one, a 95% chance of actually killing him. He's got no heir, so one of his weak siblings, which is a courtier, will take the throne. So there would be a perfect scheme here. Let's start this one, right? And at the same time, my council, I will say also support the scheme for her. Now let's have a look at our scheme. We already have a 95% chance for this guy here to die rather sooner than later. And he's a salad anyway, so yeah. And he definitely needs a shaving. But in that case, he will die. Alright, so let's have a look again. Let's unpause the game. A few things will happen now, hopefully. There we have it. So we got our alliance. We got our alliance now with this guy here. He's got 400 troops. So this will well put us into some perspective there. will put us on a bit of weight. Um, as we can see now too, our men at arms are growing. Quite quickly so. And my son is also marrying Malt, she is called. Alright, and it seems like we already lost someone? Nope. Alright. We still have the plot going on. Right, so agent removed from scheme. Marriage is done and the agent joins the scheme. That's it for now. What other issues do we have while we wait? We can declare war on six counties at the moment. The six counties, we could declare war on them with a bit of piety that we have. Um, and raiding would be a suggestion since we are in the early Middle Ages. Raiding is a very viable source of income. My agent, Falgus, approaches me with a bunch of papers clutched in his hands. I found old architectural papers of the chieftain's castle. They might be a bit outdated, but look here. Alright, that looks like a tunnel we can use. Or we gain hidden nooks and crannies. No, let's actually go with this because there is no chance that it fails and it improves our murder plot. Our troops are still gathering. We want to wait there a bit and just admire the beauty that we have right now. 
Uh, we are 67. Death is imminent. Hopefully we're not getting cancer before we win this war that I'm about to start. Now, about the war thing, about how we want to expand in Ireland itself, there are a, a few ways of approaching this. First of all, as we can see, Thomond that we have right now is part of the Duchy of Munster. Now, the Duchy of... My wife is pregnant already. That was quick. Alright. Catholic wives are the best. Or French wives are the best. Um, oh! The murder plot is finally done already. My agents have scheduled a journey for Chieftain Dunkard, which will take them through dark woods. All that is missing is the band of thugs that will tragically slay them in a highway robbery gone wrong. And uh, yeah, the woods are a dangerous place. Sorry, pal. 95% chance. I see little chance for you to survive this. Chieftain Dunkard has left this world, sent off by a bandit's blade. As the travel party stopped to camp for the evening, bandits poured out from among the trees, calling for blood and gold. The soldier fought back, but thankfully was not enough. Um, Chieftain Dunkard was tragically slain in the melee. Conveniently, most of the bandits were slain in the fighting and the dead do not speak. No one will ever know of my involvement. Perhaps commoners are not so useless after all. Alright, so what happens here now? He died. And a rather weak guy, an old guy as well, gets the, the place here, right? So Ormond is weakened by that. Now, I was speaking about the duchy that we have right now. And that is the duchy of Munster. This one, right? So I want to get the duchy of Munster first. Because this would give me a title. And I do need these titles to get the sure claims on other counties. Now, what we have right now is we have the earldom of Thomond that belongs to us. We have the earl dome of Ormond and of Desmond. So we need to get at least one of them to create the title. So I either need to get Desmond or Ormond. Either one of these. Right now I've got 600 troops available. The problem though is that I know that I have a very strong northern neighbor and that is Connacht. Now Connacht is that we have the chieftain right now. And this guy is growing rapidly in strength. He's one of the biggest ones. If we go back to the title selection, let's have a look. We have the Duchy of Munster and over upper, well, above that we have the Kingdom of Ireland. That is our goal. That is our ultimate goal here, the Kingdom of Ireland, right? Um, we want to get the harp under our control. For that we do need the Duchy of Connacht, the Duchy of Leinster, of Munster and of Ulster before we can do that. Now Connacht is this one here and the biggest one of them which is going to be quite strong is rather weak at the moment so my intention is to rush to connacht and then go to my own duchies because right now i cannot create the duchy myself anyway it's way too expensive to create the title so i'm not that busy with that desmond is kind of cut out from the world anyway because we are we are in the way but connacht is the strong one right now they're weak and i want to use that let's just check my troops my troops look good so in that regard, they should be full now any minute. And there they are, fully used now. Let's declare war on this guy. Or let's just look if we can do that, right? We could now conquer the county. The other ones are not good. The other ones I cannot do because I don't have the prestige or the fame for it. But um, conquer the county is the one that I want to go with because we only lose some faith. We do have quite a lot of faith because we also have a very good priest that also endorses us and as we can see inferior forces so it's a bit risky but let's declare war now the first war is at hand we need to raise all our armies let's wait for them to gather we got 658 and with those guys we are marching right on Connacht now our commander that's us we are not the best in the world but we should be doing right yeah we have martial skill of 13 which is good and we are continuing to march. I haven't seen any troops here yet. There they are. 424 it is. It's going to be a close battle. But just imagine that would be much harder later on if we would fight them. So let's just try it at least. He's fleeing the scene already. No, he's not. He is not. He cannot do that. So let's just hope that we win this one. And it's looking very good for us. So just let's have a, a quick look at the battle scene here. As we can see, we got the light footman and the bowman. We are the attackers. Um, we have a very good advantage at the moment since we got um, three champions. We have elite quality soldiers. So that is way more important. Plus, and here comes the lifestyle bonus in. My character itself, he's not very strong. 
with um, the martial bonus, but he's very strong now thanks to my lifestyle choice of all the bonuses that I get with that. For example, the organized march, which improves the heavy infantry screen, or the path and tactics for the light cavalry and the skirmishers, damage plus 20%. So we do get some nice bonuses out of that. And as we can see, the battle is going to our favor. We have won. Unfortunately, we haven't made any prisoners as far as I can see. He's gone and we are now sieging. Now for the siege though, that takes a bit of time. As we can see, there's a bit of a progress here. There are still 280 people there and we are starving them right now, even though they're still fully stocked. Um, with that, we should have won it then though. All right, oh! I do have a son, how incredible is that? I mean, seriously, I'm 68 years old by now and I do have a son. Um, Columb. Yeah, why not? Let's call him Columb. And, no, actually, that doesn't sound like such a good name. Dupe. <laughs> no, seriously, Abel. Abel was good. Augustine. Let's go with Augustine. That is a strong name, uh, an Irish name. Augustine? May you grow strong. So there we got him, a new pal. He's not looking too happy. He's looking rather schemy. He's got a learning skill already. And what we need to do is we need to educate him right away. Right, so we're going to educate our own child. He gets some traits then from us. Um, Siege is going to be over soon. He's trying a counterattack, but I think it's too late for that. There we've won it. And now as we can see, the work progress is at 100%. And if it's at 100%, that means we can enforce, enforce our demands. Let's do that. If we do enforce the, the demands here, we gain 75 fame. Fame is very important. This will um, increase it then. We are established right now. The next one will be distinguished. Um, and that's it, basically. Victory it is. So be it. To the impotent chieftain. I'm not impotent. I just got a son. Chieftain, send fail it. May your humus rot in your living body. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply. What is happening with him? He's wandering now. So he's just, you know, wandering around. He's no longer chief nor anything. Um, and with that, we have made our first progress. So we have gotten Connacht, which is just absolutely important. Um, and as we can see, Thomond has gotten bigger because of that. Let's put our troops to rest again. Right, we gotten a bit stronger with this. Perfect. No. Oh, we have taken prisoners. We have taken this beauty here. Slain, she's called the chieftess. That is the chieftess. So she's no longer a chieftess now. That is fine. She's our prisoner. Um, let's just have a look at our prison there. Does she want anything? Ah, she doesn't have any money anymore in our prison. If I release her, there is a chance that she wants to get back the throne, perhaps, or the chieftain. We could negotiate to gain a weak hook, or we could recruit her, right? We could recruit her to our court. Is she good at anything? She's very good with martial skills. Let's have a look at our council there real quick. We have a bad marshal. So we could recruit her, get the martial skills. Let's do that. Let's recruit her. So... Once she was a chieftess, and now she's becoming my marshal. Alright. She accepts. She's now hopefully in my court. Not yet. Alright. But she's coming. She hopefully is coming. Now, Connor here has some civil unrest now. Which is a bit of a problem. But for now it's fine. I don't think there, there is any resistance coming from there. We get 150 troops though with it. So as we, can, as we can see, we have now military strength 890. And since we might die soon, I want to use that momentum to continue with my warmongering. This guy here, Desmond, he should be very weak. He's inferior to us. And we can count, could still only conquer the county, right? So in this case, that cost me 25 piety. We do have that. Um, we cannot do anything else because our level of fame is too low. But with these smaller skirmishes, smaller wars, we can increase our fame and thus open up the other options later. Let's declare the war. Raise my armies. 800 I got, and let's march down to Desmond. Now, Desmond is the first county that belongs to my duchy then later, so it's very important to take this one. He's got an advantage, though. We have captured someone. 
Oh no! Our champion has been slain. Alright, but we win this one, obviously. And thus we have... Oh, and we have gotten the chieftain? Seriously, we've gotten the chieftain as prisoner. That uh, uh, unlocks the 100% right away. Pretty good. That is really lucky. Otherwise, we would have made a siege now. Um, having him as a prisoner is just perfect. Right now, he's still a chieftain, but after the enforcement, he's gone. We get another 75 fame, and my allies get 75 prestige. Let's enforce it to the blathering chieftain. And that's it. As we can see, we got Desmond now as well. It looks quite easy at the moment, but fret not. This is getting a bit more complicated soon. I cannot wage war forever though as well, since my piety is going down. At least we got him. We can disband now our army once again. I want to check my prison there. The problem is, what I could have done is I could have gotten some ransom from him before enforcing my demands. Hmm. In that case, right now, we could recruit him once again. I'm not doing that. He's pretty weak. We could gain a weak hook or we just keep him. Because he's nothing anymore anyway. He's lord of nothing. So in that case, let's just keep him in the prison for now. Alright, we got Desmond. Pretty good. I'd say. Nice expansion so far. And let's just check out what we can do. Now, Orman would be our next choice here. Right? This guy. Chieftain Dub Da. Right now, he's got no allies still, so he's pretty weak. I think so. He is weak. He's weak, so we might just go with him. Let's just have a look at our son there as well. Does my son have anyone yet? Nope, my son doesn't have anyone yet. So hopefully they do something. They are scootly pooping. And I do have my Augustine, and Augustine is being educated. If I live long enough, I could make Augustine my heir. My main heir. But so far, let's not do that. Since we do have a wife, a chieftess, let's just check the council there real quick. I can now put her on assist ruler. So she's going to help me then with stuff. For example, with chivalry. So this, she would give me a bonus to commanding soldiers. Also managing the domain or the court intrigue, patronage, um, court politics. So if I put it on, we can see what we get. Another bit of bonus there for our prestige. Uh, manage the domain, we would get a bit more money. Though she, She's a really bad steward. So chivalry is probably the best thing. That gives me 20 martial skills excellence bonus. Right, so we are now excellent at the martial skill. That is very important for the battles to come. Please live longer, Sen Phelet. I love you as a marshal. We are also still allied now with this guy here. The problem with the alliance is though, that if he goes to war with anyone, we join the war. And my hope is that the wars will wage here far away from me. Right. This guy. He's growing. He knows that he is in danger. We have 897. Let's just check my troops there. We cannot create any more men at arms for now. What we could be doing is we could try either to kill him, to capture him, or to raid his land and thus make him weaker. Let's try to... Yeah, let's go with some raiding. Raise all as raiders. Not the most honorable thing to do, but it's a good thing to weaken them. Let's just check. There are 15 coins waiting. We might get them. We might take them. And the cool thing with the raiding is you might also take prisoners while you're doing it. Right, so there we're raiding. And it takes a bit of time. And you can only really do this now. Oh! And we have become the cultural head of the Irish culture. All right, looks good. Where where can we see that Irish? There it is. We are oh, and we've taken the grandson of Fingwin Sen during the siege as a prisoner. Um, as we can see, we are the cultural head now. That means we have access to our cultural achievements. Um, we are the ruler for that, um, and this gives me because I have the most Irish counties. All right. And here we can then see our cultural achievements that we've made during this era. So right now we're still in the tribal era. Yep, we haven't really reached early medieval yet from 900 AD onwards then. So right now we are in the tribal one. And as we can see, these are the bonuses that we have. So currency, for example, has been unlocked. This gives us a bit of a de development bonus there. Um, the, the plenary assemblies. So can build fortified tribal holds. This is something that known to the Irish is known to the Irish and the Gavel kind. 
Right now, we are still researching the city planning, the castle spelly, the drop. So castle spelly, that is something for later then that we get the claims for something and thus get the castle spelly. Right, raiding. Let's have a look. There is some raiding still to be done. I like the new raiding mechanics as well, since we can quite easily see where there is something to get and how strong they are. Right, so they are pretty weak at the moment. There is also someone raiding at the moment. So we are raiding our own countries there so far. But we can make them weaker with that. So he's still a bit strong though. Now, because I've taken the next duchy here or the next uh, county, we have the Duchy of Munster now available. As we can see inside my realm, there are now two earldoms here. And I could create the title with that. The problem though is that I don't have the money. So as I said, creating the title costs a lot and we don't have the money so far, but we can focus on that. Now, this is what I feared would happen at some point. My ally is on war with this guy. This guy's pretty strong. He's way stronger than us <laughs> to the charming chieftain. We could decline or we could accept. In that case, he's pretty strong. So there is a high chance that he will come for us and destroy us. So I'm going to decline this one. He, will li he wouldn't like that. Still. We have captured the chieftain's half-sister. That's her. We've captured a small child of one year. I don't know why we do have these ideas. There is a bit of... Yeah, there is a bit of ransom on this. Ten gold. Let's, let's take the gold. And let's get back home. We do have a bit of money. And the ransom has been accepted. So pretty good so far. Let's get back home. And so far, it's looking fine. Our main goal is now Ormond. This guy here, and then we can continue to more adventures. 